the J. Slater case is not over. There are still too many unanswered questions, and while we continue to cover and raise awareness to other cases, I will still continue to point out the inconsistencies in this case. Let's go back to the morning that Jay allegedly vanished from that rental cottage. Ayub said that they went straight to bed after arriving back from a long night of partying. However, they were awoken by the doorbell shortly afterwards. At the door was a couple, asking them to move the car. No further information was given about this couple, though. Who were they? Why did they need the car moved? They have also never come forward to give their account of that morning. Did they see anything unusual? Something else that I would love to know is whether that rental cottage even had a doorbell, because I've seen numerous comments saying that there is no doorbell. Ayub then gets into his car and moves it. When he looks in his rearview mirror, he sees Jay talking to a woman. This woman is probably Ophelia, the only independent witness that claims to see Jay, walking away from the air BB seemingly fine. Many speculated whether a fight could have broke out at the cottage, and Jay got really badly hurt and then had to be disposed of. Ayub addressed this saying no, he believes Jay had a tragic accident. But let's go back to this article now, and I think it is very interesting. According to this article that was released very early on in the case, it says that around six that morning, neighbors at the rental cottage reported hearing noises coming from the house. Let's also remember this post. Jay and the men arrived at the rental in the early hours of the morning. About an hour later, we see the lights of a second vehicle arriving at the Air BB. It only remained there for about 30 minutes and then left. This took place between 6 and 7.30, and that time coincided with the time the neighbors reported hearing noises coming from the house. Was Jay put into this second vehicle and then taken to those mountains? Was this second car ever looked into by Spanish police? I highly doubt it since they only went days later to even do forensics at that rental cottage. All the evidence could have easily been removed all those weeks later. It was also said that Ophelia did a proper clean-up after they left. And don't forget, Ayob even thanked the cleaner personally. What do you guys think? Drop your thoughts down below.